Hey everybody, Healthy Prepper here with a garage sale prepping haul. Um, Hubby Prepper and I went out this weekend and we gathered a few items um, from our local garage and yard sales and I just wanted to show you what we got. I think the uh, prepper pickings were pretty good this weekend. Um, okay, so let's focus on where we got first. The first thing we got was this um, gun lock. Uh, this can actually be used for many things. You can obviously use it to lock your guns, but you can also use it for locking anything that's around the house or attached to the house. We pick these up whenever we see them at garage sales. Just think they're a good thing to have. Paid a dollar for that. It was marked three dollars. Um, let's see. Oh, got to tell you about this little find. Um, hey, I've never had a flask. And it was really funny because last weekend we were in an antique store and I saw the cute little flask that looked just like this little stainless steel guy. And it had $14 on it. And I saw one at the garage sale for 50 cents. And I thought, eh, yeah, that's not bad, you know. But this one, I had to just show you this. It came spiked with rum. Ha, huh, it had bonus. <laughs> just kidding, I'm not going to drink that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was still kind of funny. Going to be sterilized, definitely. You know, not much of a drinker here, but during hard times, you know, SHTF. Well, you never know. Might come in handy. Um, definitely good for trade value either way. Okay, then I came across this little baby. I don't have any oil lamps, so I spotted an oil lamp, and the lady wanted, I asked her what she wanted for it, and she said she wanted $2 for it, and she also had the oil, and this thing is full um, of citronella outdoor lamp oil. I don't know if that's the same stuff that'll go in the lamp, but maybe one of you guys knows out there. If that'll work in there. Um, I, I am missing the um, wick, but I'm hoping that won't be too hard to find. And I did test the little dial here, the little turn thing, and it does work. So there you go. Wish me luck with the oil lamp. I'll have to give that a try. Okay, next, Hubby Prepper found this little gizmo. It is, oops, it is a, there we go, an all hazards emergency alert monitor it has a little compass on top which swings out to the side kind of cool and uh, it was marked at 50 cents so we thought well it was worth a roll of the dice don't really know if it works or not then I did notice a bunch of corrosion here so it's probably all corroded inside so we'll take a chance see if we can clean it off if it doesn't uh, work still the compass works on top and that's worth uh, 50 cents in itself. So there you go. Remember to check the batteries on these things, folks, at these garage sales. Okay. All right, the next thing, I thought this was a good find. This I actually found at the same place as the flask, and it was one of those out-of-the-way garage sales. It was a little harder to find, a little harder to get to, but we made it. Had to drive through some sand to get there. Uh, but the fellow, it's not the world's greatest knife, but I was looking for one with a serrated edge and a sharp edge. Uh, or a, a smooth blade and a serrated blade, and uh, it had both. And um, he only wanted two fifty. He actually wanted three bucks for the knife and fifty cents for that. So I offered him three bucks for everything, and he took it. So that was a good deal. Okay. Um, I don't know if this is truly prepping, but I like these little apple cutter things. They're very easy to make food preps quick with apples. Stainless steel. Um, I think I got that for a quarter. Pampered Chef. Um, here was a good find. Um, a brand new Coleman propane stove with the little gizmo attachment. Apparently, uh, these are all, a lot of these are out there at garage sales, but they're missing this little gizmo attachment. And this little gizmo attachment attaches your propane tank to the stove. So you definitely want to have this little gizmo attachment. All right. So there's the stove, and it was marked 20, and it said new on it. And I asked her what the best uh, price she could offer on that would be, and she said 15. And I tried a little small haggle, but I just she wouldn't go any lower, and I figured it was still worth it because that's always good to have a Coleman stove. Okay, so uh, then I came across these two. Um, these are bags. These are like um, knapsack type bags, cami, cami, camo bags. Um, maybe some of you out there know if these are are these just hunting bags or military bags? I don't see any army anything on it, but it looks kind of military. But I thought this would be a good impromptu 
grab and go bug out type bag if needed if we needed something that could be hidden easily these might make a go um, okay so that was pretty much it that was our prepping extravaganza at the old garage sale this weekend so get on out there and uh, garage sale it up, folks. There's lots of goodies to be had. You can get them at rock bottom prices for not much money. And uh, you can really build your prepping supplies that way. So take care, everybody. Happy and healthy prepping.